Welcome to the John Young Parkway, US 1792 and South Orange Blossom Trail at Pleasant Hill Road, South Hoagland Boulevard, Intersection Improvements Community Event. Financial Project Identification, FPID Number 418-403-7. The project aims to relieve congestion, improve access, extend bicycle and pedestrian facilities, enhance aesthetics, and add landscaping within the project area. These improvements will consider capacity, safety, and multimodal enhancements while minimizing potential impacts to the natural and human environments. This community event is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. In person on Wednesday, May 17, 2023 at the Kissimmee Civic Center and on Thursday, May 18, 2023 at the Poinciana Community Center, virtually on GoToWebinar on Wednesday, May 17, 2023 and over the phone on Wednesday, May 17, 2023. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 418-403-7. Again, that's www.cflroads.com forward slash p-r-o-j-e-c-t forward slash 418 403-7. All participants, regardless of which platform they choose, will receive the same information. The purpose of tonight's community event is to explain the project goals, present the proposed improvements FDOT is evaluating to help achieve those goals, and invite the community to provide your feedback about the proposed improvements and stay connected. This community event was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, DeLand, Florida, 32720-6834, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email at melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. Again, that's M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, Florida Department of Transportation Equal Opportunity Office, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. Again, that's s-t-e-f-a-n dot k-u-l-a k-o-w-s-k-i at d-o-t dot s-t-a-t-e dot f-l dot u-s. This information is shown on a board at the in-person location, in the handout section on the GoToWebinar, and on the project website. To begin this presentation, we will be reviewing the project location, goals, and background. The study focuses on the intersection of John Young Parkway, US 1792, and South Orange Blossom Trail with Pleasant Hill Road, South Hoagland Boulevard, within Osceola County. The purpose of this project is to study the intersection of John Young Parkway at Pleasant Hill Road, 
to identify traffic and design solutions that incorporate community goals and input. Current operations at the intersection of John Young Parkway and Pleasant Hill Road present issues related to congestion and safety. Design improvements will help address issues with crashes, reduce congestion, improve access, extend pedestrian and bicycle facilities, and include enhanced aesthetics through landscaping. The previous Project Development and Environment, or PD&D study, and subsequent design for the intersection of John Young Parkway and Pleasant Hill Road were under capacity to serve the dramatic increase in traffic demand that is on the roadway today. Current projections for the year 2045 anticipate 50% more vehicles than today at this intersection. In addition, a more than 60% increase in traffic is expected for movements controlling the westbound John Young Parkway to southbound Pleasant Hill Road. Growth in traffic around the John Young Parkway at Pleasant Hill Road intersection required an additional analysis to identify more robust improvements that will meet the current and future anticipated needs and to develop a high-capacity solution for the intersection. The traffic congestion seen at the intersection point of John Young Parkway and Pleasant Hill Road is expected to grow for every approach. While congestion is experienced from each direction, the critical pair of movements is the westbound left turn and the eastbound through movement. The growth here cannot be accommodated without an overpass along one of those directions to allow travel at the same time. John Young Parkway at Pleasant Hill Road is a high crash location. Looking at the crash history for five years prior to the pandemic, from 2015 to 2019, there were 545 crashes within a half mile of the intersection. Four of these were fatalities. Congestion is anticipated to continue to grow. The two most common types of the crashes at John Young Parkway and Pleasant Hill Road intersection are rear-end crashes, making up 53% of all crashes, and angle crashes, making up 25%. Both are associated with congestion, unexpected stops, and high speeds at the intersection. Solutions to address safety at the intersection focus on addressing congestion and reliability issues. Maintaining or improving access to the surrounding network is considered with each element of an improvement project. Currently, many turning movements in the area are restricted and require right-in, right-out movements, such as those seen at the business access to Pleasant Hill Road from across Fern Drive. The shared-use path or trail along Pleasant Hill Road ends before reaching the study intersection. This study focuses on the safety of all users. It emphasizes providing protected walking and biking facilities, such as trails, sidewalks, crosswalks, and others. These proposed enhanced features will provide a safe space for bicyclists and pedestrians and provide connections to transit, including links, and for students who utilize the Osceola County school system bus stops. As part of this study, one goal is to enhance the landscaping and aesthetics of the area. The area has many mature oak trees that are looking to be preserved and accentuated through these efforts. In addition to existing landscape, new landscaping will be added along bare roadways, giving the area a more vibrant and community feel. Using the project goals and background information, an approach combining a number of non-traditional intersection designs was developed for the John Young Parkway at Pleasant Hill Road intersection. The following will show how these ideas were assembled and outline the options available within the approach. The existing John Young Parkway at Pleasant Hill Road intersection follows a traditional intersection configuration. In a traditional intersection, drivers can go in any direction from all four approaches and all movements travel through the middle of the intersection. This illustration shows the 32 potential crossing points in a traditional intersection. A crossing or conflict point is the point where two vehicles or a vehicle and pedestrian can potentially collide with each other. When movements must wait for each other, there is limited capacity for the pairs of competing movements. The red dot is the crossing between the westbound left turns from John Young Parkway to Pleasant Hill Road 
and the eastbound traffic on John Young Parkway. Due to the high existing and anticipated future traffic volumes at this intersection, a traditional intersection will not meet the needs. The proposed grade separation for the John Young Parkway eastbound movement meets the traffic demand at this location. A wide range of alternative intersection types and concepts were evaluated to develop the proposed improvements with the goals of relocating movements to safer and easier to serve locations, eliminating conflicts, and providing more green time for all users. Included into the proposed improvements are elements of a quadrant roadway, a median U-turn, and a restricted crossing U-turn. The quadrant road, or quad road, uses a new roadway to divert traffic movements from the main intersection. The quad road is the most flexible for use with other strategies, such as the additional alternative intersection described in this presentation. With the addition of the quad road, the main intersection uses a two-phase traffic signal and becomes a compact intersection. The quad road also allows for better access to nearby homes and businesses. The median U-turn, or MUT, alternative, removes left turns from the main intersection and guides traffic to make a U-turn at an opening in the median beyond the main intersection. Eliminating the left turns at the main intersection simplifies signal timings and provides more green time, improving congestion. The restricted crossing U-turn, or R-cut, does not allow traffic to cross the main intersection. Traffic from side streets can only make right turns and then complete a U-turn if wanting to cross the opposite side street or to turn left. This is similar to the current Oaks Community intersection at the Oaks Boulevard. The proposed John Young Parkway at Pleasant Hill Road concepts implement many aspects of the non-traditional intersections described earlier in this presentation. Item 1 shows the eastbound overpass on John Young Parkway facing Pleasant Hill Road. Item 2 shows one of the two quadrant road options. Item 3 represents the restricted crossing U-turn on John Young Parkway heading westbound. There are two options being proposed for the improvement concepts, option A and option B. We will describe those in the next slides. One feature of the John Young Parkway at Pleasant Hill Road concepts is the development of an eastbound overpass. The eastbound overpass relieves congestion for vehicles and limits the construction footprint compared to previous designs. Additionally, there is still access to local restaurants, businesses, and more with this design. Both option A and option B have the same eastbound overpass design. The main difference for option A and option B is the quadrant road concept. Option A includes a park median with water features throughout the middle of the median. Option B features a more linear median design with stormwater managed on the outside of the median. While the quad roads differ in terms of aesthetics, both provide the same direct access to major roadways. The following slides will show how some turning movements have been rerouted to safer and more efficient locations using the alternative intersection concepts in practice. The improvements include an eastbound overpass, a quadrant roadway, median U-turns, or MUTs, and restricted crossing U-turns, or R-cuts, to keep traffic moving as described in the previous slides. All traffic movements are shown on option A, but are the same movements for both option A and B. A median U-turn, or MUT, serves the southbound left turn movement. A restricted crossing U-turn, or R-cut, serves the northbound left turn. A quadrant roadway serves the westbound left turn. A restricted crossing U-turn, or R-cut, serves the eastbound left turn. A quadrant roadway serves the northbound right turn.
A quadrant roadway serves the westbound left turn from John Young Parkway to the Oaks. A quadrant roadway serves the northbound right turn from Pleasant Hill Road to the Oaks. A quadrant roadway and restricted crossing U-turn, or R-cut, work together to serve traffic exiting the Oaks to westbound John Young Parkway. A quadrant roadway serves the traffic exiting the Oaks to northbound on Hoagland Boulevard. A quadrant roadway serves traffic exiting the Oaks to southbound Pleasant Hill Road. A quadrant roadway serves traffic exiting the Oaks to eastbound John Young Parkway. Now that we have discussed how drivers will navigate the intersections, we will show how this supports navigation as a pedestrian or bicyclist. The option A and option B both feature pedestrian and bicycle facilities that adapt to the shape of the quad road. There is an approximately one mile proposed subloop around the intersection connecting the Oaks Community, John Young Parkway, and Pleasant Hill Road. Both quad road options allow for landscape enhancements, tree buffers where possible for surrounding neighborhoods, and preservation efforts for mature trees in the area. Option A is the park median. Option A is the park median and features a wider area in the median for stormwater and landscaping. Option B is the linear median. Option B is the linear median and features a tighter linear area in the median with a more formal landscape design. There are minor differences between the two options, but both provide the same benefits and meet the project goals. Both options provide major roadway connections for John Young Parkway, the Oaks, and Pleasant Hill Road. The eastbound overpass will be the same design regardless of which option is chosen. Stormwater management is also the same for both options. Additionally, both options have approximately a one-mile looping shared-use path, as well as other improved bicycle, pedestrian, and ADA features. Both options will require minor right-of-way acquisition. The minor differences in the options are primarily aesthetic in nature. In option A, the park median quad road, there is space for significant stormwater retention with wet and dry ponds within the roadway median, as well as a wide space for landscaped areas between travel lanes. The quad road maintains a curvature shape as a method of maintaining slower speeds. Option B is the linear median quad road. This option has stormwater retention on the outside of the roadway design instead of inside the median like option A. There is a clear roadway delineation along the median with a more compact design than option A and is simpler for pedestrian crossings. Both option A and option B meet the project goals and address current and future needs. The project development and environment study for the improvements along John Young Parkway was previously completed. The intersection study is overlapping with the construction of the resurfacing, restoration, and rehabilitation, or RRR project of John Young Parkway from east of Ham Brown Road to south of Portage Street, which has an anticipated completion in spring 2024. The intersection study will be completed following this community event. The project will then move into the design phase, which is funded for fiscal year 2024. Right-of-way acquisition will occur after the design phase and is funded for fiscal year 2025. 
Construction of the intersection improvements is funded for fiscal year 2027 and is expected to begin after the completion of the previous phases. A future improvement for John Young Parkway will include a six-lane widening of the roadway from Pleasant Hill Road to Portage Street. There are a variety of ways to provide the project team with your feedback and to stay connected with future updates regarding John Young Parkway. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. Every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While public comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by May 28, 2023, 10 days after the community event, will become part of the project record. All questions and comments will be responded to in writing following the event. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with the project team members to ask any questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the project record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to the project staff. You may also contact the project manager, Stephen Buck, directly by email at stephen.buck at dot.state.fl.us. Again, that's S T E V E N dot B U C K at D O T dot S T A T E dot F L dot U S or by U S Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, seven one nine South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station five zero one, Deland, Florida three two seven two zero. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5171 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. To learn more about the project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 418-403-7 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Community event materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this community event and providing your input on the project. We encourage you to submit your comments or questions regarding the proposed improvements at the John Young Parkway at Pleasant Hill Road intersection. Contact information, this presentation, Project documents and other exhibits displayed at the community event are posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 418-403-7. Have a good evening. This concludes the presentation. We invite you to view the meeting materials and exhibits and talk to the project team. This presentation will begin again in a few minutes.